Thanks, Eric Backer, The Natural Power. Thanks for coming back, checking out my channel. I always appreciate people looking at the kind of stuff that I create and put out there. So thank you so much for all of your really positive feedback. Questions, questions. I've got lots of questions to go through. So let's do a few videos today and uh, we'll talk about a few different points. I'll also answer some different questions that get you know put towards me. So let's talk a bit about the microbiome. So the question I had from somebody was, uh, I'm an American guy, I live in California, and I've heard the American lifestyle is not really good for gut health. Can you elaborate on that? So of course I can elaborate on that. So we know, for example, uh, by looking at studies, for example, there was a study published last year in November in the Cell Journal. There's a journal called Cell, a biology journal. And it spoke about people coming from Asia, you know, or different countries going to America to start a new life. So what they found that not long after people turn up in the States, they obviously start, you know, living the American lifestyle. And that generally means leaving some dietary, you know, values behind that they had with them when they were in Asia. Because often you can't take these foods with you, you can't grow these foods, you can't access them. So the water's different, the food's different, the air's different, the culture's different, lots of things are different. There are a huge amount of benefits for people moving to America. So I'm not saying America is a bad place to live. In fact, it's one of my favorite countries. I really enjoy going to the States. I met wonderful people over there. So this is not a let's bag America day, okay, at all. But the American lifestyle is crap. It's almost as bad as the Australian lifestyle. It's even worse, to be honest. So westernized modern lifestyles are not really good for microbiome health, okay? You've got about a half a pound of bacteria sitting in your guts, including all these genes, massive gene pool there. So we know now, and I've mentioned this many times, that when you look at countries, you know, South America, for example, people living in Argentina or people living in Bolivia, people living in Peru, the biodiversity of their gut is twice as diverse as the average person in the States. And it's the same thing in Asia, people living in you know, South Korea, people living in Vietnam, people living in Japan. So they have wonderful diets and wonderful cultures, but when they move, they don't take those with them. So their gut changes. You're taking a person out of a very biodiverse you know, lifestyle, including diet, and you're moving into a more restricted area. Because we know, for example, that studies again have revealed that when people do shift, within no time at all, the diversity changes. They get a 15% reduction almost you know, immediately when they move there because they're not feeding up those bugs that they've got with the foods that they were feeding them up with. Now this unfortunately can also push a person into a high obesity rate. So we know that when you restrict you know, the amount of vegetables and fruits in the diet, people tend to eat more proteins and fats and more carbs, unfortunately, more processed foods, and this is where the obesity comes from. So they're finding huge obesity spikes in people who move from Asian countries to America and settle there and follow the American dream. And that's real shame. I have got friends in the States I know that live there that follow more an Asian lifestyle. And it is possible to access you know, a lot of the foods over there, but it, it, it's a lot harder. So that diversity drops. And unfortunately, when a person's you know, microbiome uh, changes and they get a drop in it and they get bigger, then unfortunately with obesity, they've got an even higher ability to lose more species in their gut. Studies have also shown that larger obese people tend to have a much uh, narrower band you know, on bacteria, of the types of bacteria in their gut, than people who aren't obese. And of course, those types of changes in the obese person's gut is going to push them also towards more inappropriate you know, behavioral kind of responses, where they're going to eat the wrong kind of food, they're going to feel bad about their body image. They're going to get depressed or anxious. And that's going to also, unfortunately, shape their diet from that point forward. So the important thing I'm trying to make here is if you come from another country and you move to America, try and eat similar to what you were doing. Eat similar kind of foods. All right? Don't all of a sudden start eating a total U.S. type of a diet because it could mean that you're going to be more prone to diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. Like a lot of people are, eat these kind of foods. That's the point I'm trying to make. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, click on the link below in the description box. There's a nice PDF report for you for free. Thank you.